hey, this is one thing you need to do before you start investing. Hey guys, what's up? My name is Whitney Hansen. I am the founder of WhitneyHansen.com and host of the Money Nerds podcast. And today we're talking all about one hugely important step that you must do before you start investing. Okay, here's the thing. I see so many people that immediately wanna jump into taking the next step with investing and just putting a ton of money into the stock market. Respect, I completely understand. <laughs> Do you hear Shiloh's little pitter patter? I'll have to introduce you to Shiloh. I recognize that you probably have not met her yet for my YouTube family. So what is the first step? You must pay off high interest credit card debt. Yes, any credit card that is a high interest, you need to get that paid off as quickly as possible because the credit cards usually have anywhere between 18 and 24% interest rate. <gasps> Which means you can't get ahead of that. You cannot out earn all of that high interest. So let's put some numbers to this so you can better understand where this reasoning is coming from. Let's say you have a credit card that's charging you 18% interest. 18% interest is pretty normal for a credit card. Compare that to the average return of the S&P, the Standard & Poor 500. The stock market on average has returned 7%. 7% versus 18%. Do you see the issue here? You can't out earn all of that interest. So if you want a guaranteed return and you want to actually have the money work for you instead of always paying interest, you have to pay off those high yield credit cards. Here's the cool thing too. Paying off your credit card is a guaranteed return on your investment. Guaranteed, 100% worth your money. And I have to say, this isn't just my opinion, this is math, and it's also the opinion of very successful billionaire Mark Cuban. Mark Cuban says, whatever interest rate you have, it might be a student loan with 7% interest rate. If you pay off that loan, you make 7%. That's your immediate return, which is a lot safer than trying to pick a stock or trying to pick real estate. So do you see what I mean here? If you pay off your credit card debt, you're gonna get a guaranteed return. So before you even start investing, it's really important that you look through all of your debts and prioritize paying off at least your highest interest rate debts first. Ideally, you'd be completely debt free. I understand in today's world with all of the student loan debt, that may not even be a possibility for quite some time. And it's important that you do prioritize investing in your future and growing your wealth. So you're probably like, sounds great, Whitney. How do I pay off my debts? Here's where to start. First, make a list of all of the debts that you have, specifically your credit cards, but go ahead and list out all of your debts. I want you to list the debt, the interest rate, how much is it charging you? What's the minimum payment? All of that stuff needs to be on one single piece of paper so that you can see it all in one place and you can make better decisions for your life. Once you have all of that listed out and you do wanna start investing, I highly recommend prioritizing paying off those high interest credit cards first. Next, I want you to be very aggressive and advocate for yourself when it comes to your finances. What that specifically means is making that list of all of your companies, looking through, and if they're charging you over 12% of an interest rate, or heck, if they're even charging you any interest and it's a credit card, call the company and negotiate a lower rate. You have power in this situation. It doesn't always feel that way, but you can call them and tell them, hey, I'm trying to pay off my debts. I'm feeling a little bit in over my head. Is there anything you can do to help me get a reduced interest rate? Is there any promos that you're offering at the moment? There are direct scripts that you can use for negotiating a lower credit card. This video is not gonna cover those, but if you do a quick search on Google, you're gonna find literally hundreds, if not thousands of ways that you can negotiate a lower credit card interest rate. It's just important that you take that step, you advocate for yourself, and you prioritize getting rid of that debt so that you can free up the cash and start building wealth. Once you pay off all of your high yield credit cards, you are officially ready to start investing. Take all of that money you are putting towards the debt, continue that same process, pretend like you're still making huge payments, and then start to immediately invest that into your stock market. If you have no idea where to start when you go to invest, make sure you check out the series that I've done. It's linked in the comments box below, all about how to set up your brokerage account and how to invest your first a share of an ETF and build that wealth, baby. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And more than anything, I hope it inspires you to take control of your finances and get rid of that crappy credit card debt so that you can start to really build some wealth. Appreciate you tuning in. I'll see you for another video. Bye.